are you? It's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video if you are new to me. Welcome! My name is Kelly. I'm the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. And I want to welcome you to our channel where this month we have just finished Shelf Timber. So this is a bit of a wrap up of last week's What's for Dinner. And then at the end I'm going to do a little bit of a review and pass on my thoughts and feelings and questions yes all right check it out hey guys how are you going so it's um sunday and it's what's for dinner technically we're still in shelf timber although i think i'm nearly done and dusted with it <laughs> we're just yeah still sort of eating what we have except tonight for dinner we're having kangaroo um with well, jeremy and kira will have this and I got this as a bit of a markdown haul, so technically this isn't part of a shelf timber thing because we bought it and we're using it. And um, these are what the kebabs look like. They're going to go in the oven for 15 minutes. And then I'm just going to have a couple of these dippers, which I've put on the plate. And we're also going to have a pasta bake, so I've now only got five packets of this left. <laughs> Scott's having some... Arachini bowls, upside down, you know what it is, uh, and he's going to have some wedges as well. So that's going to be everything. I also have to massively clean up the kitchen while I'm cooking and yeah, see if I've got time or energy to bake something as well. So let's go. I'm refilling my husband's little cake box so then he can just take one every day to work. So I made a whole loaf last week and cut it up to 10 pieces and I froze these half. And so I'll get them all out here for the week. Um, so otherwise I'll forget each night to put one out. So just put them all, they'll last through the week. And yes, then that's saving us some money and also some space in our freezer. Hello, it's a Monday night, what's for dinner? I've just got home from Zumba. I have been cleaning and trying to finish the oven, which you guys would have seen the video on. So we have um, sweet and sour chicken with rice and <laughs> Scott had two dinners. <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention. I planned on making a lasagna and I was like, well, seeing we're gonna have that, I will put some chips and nuggets in the oven for Scott. So I cooked them and then I realized, oh, I'm just gonna do chicken and rice because we've got the chicken breast from the other day. And then I <laughs> realized, oh well, oh well, Scott will have two dinners. So yes, at least he's fed and he's eating well. All right, I'm going to eat my dinner and I'll see you soon. Hello, it's Tuesday night. It's very weird for me to be home, but it's a uh, school holidays. And I don't teach on a Tuesday night for Zumba, so hmm. uh, we're having a lasagna with the mince markdown. This was in the freezer, so it's just been defrosting overnight, so it's gone a little bit brown. But it's fine. Please don't go, you're going to get food poisoning. So, yeah, it was frozen straight away as soon as I bought it, so it's fine. And I will make the white sauce out of this sauce. And I was going to make some brownie uh, muffins, but I think I'm going to make them in the brownies. Oh, I've just turned the kettle on. We don't need the kettle. So yeah, I think I'm going to make these, but in a brownie. And then I have um, this, the icing pack left over. So I think I'm going to put this on top of the brownies and send the calories right over the top. <laughs> so check it out step one of making lasagna picking out all the peas from the vegetables if someone finds a pea I'm just gonna tell them they're really lucky hello it's a Wednesday night what's for dinner we're going to be having some honey chicken I got this batter again from uh, who was the fresh food people? This was $2.50, so it wasn't on special, but that's okay because it works. 
So when you know something works, you're going to pay for it. Um, and then I think we'll just have some two-minute noodles because we've already had rice this week. And yes, still got leftover lasagna. Probably save that for tomorrow night, being Thursday night. I usually have a long day on Thursday and I need an easy dinner. Um, and yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for the showing. Hello, it's Thursday night. What's for dinner? We're having leftover lasagna and some little baguette bread. <laughs> I was going to turn them into like little mini garlic bread, but it is disappearing very fast. So maybe next time. Oh, and my son's having a chicken burger because I got some hamburger rolls and that's what he chose out of all the options chips chicken nuggets everything he wanted a burger so hello it's a friday night welcome to what's for dinner it is officially the first of october however still eating out the freezer so this is peri peri chicken that we had in there so this was planned last night to have tonight was frozen and i've just stuck it in the oven so I'll just give it a little bit longer to cook and probably just have some chips with it and some veggies so stay tuned hey everyone how are you it's um, Saturday afternoon and welcome to what's for dinner baking edition um, so you guys remember that I made butter the other week. It's been in the fridge and I'm going to make some cornflake cookies. So cross your fingers that this works. All right, let's give it a go. So it looks like there's a little bit of buttermilk coming out. We're going to whisk. I'm going to put the sugar in anyway whisk it up so yeah I don't know whether it's still not ready ready or but yeah we'll keep going okay this is five minutes of whipping with just the butter and you can see looks pretty good it looks like a cake batter it's a bit sweeter than normal but overall pretty happy so I'm gonna add in the eggs and the flour and see how we go all right here's the mixture it's certainly a lot wetter than a normal biscuit batter but it's very sweet so I didn't add any extra vanilla but yeah we're gonna cook some and see how we go right guys this first batch of cornflake chocolate chip cookies put cornflakes through them and you can see lots of air bubbles in the mixture so it's between sort of it's a bit of like a cake a dense cake it's pretty uh, light and fluffy but still it's pretty yum so I'm happy with that hello it's a Saturday night what's for dinner we're going to be having chicken burgers because I have these burger buns and we have some beetroot that I found in the cupboard and we need to use this lettuce and we have a little oh I don't know which one I'm going <laughs> cheese so um yeah so yes there we go i know it's not a lot but guess what it's cheaper than takeaway and there's other snacks and things in the house that people can have if they're still hungry and i made some cookies which i'll turn you around and so show you the butter when i made the cookies these are the cornflake cookies just three left of these and a whole pile went to my mum's house and then the children complained about having cornflakes so i made just regular cookies
Well, there you go, guys. That wraps up shelf timber, and I'm glad it's over. <laughs> it just, it's not for me. <laughs> just look, it wasn't a fail, it wasn't a fail, but it wasn't a roaring success either. And I have seen so many other content creators go, oh, I just didn't work <laughs> this year because of everything going on in the world. It's just like, nah, can't do it. I know that my freezer was a hot mess before I even started and every kind of three months I do put the pause on shopping and we eat down a lot of our stuff and then we start shopping all over again. So it kind of just hit that point that I was going to do it anyway, but at least, you know, being shop temper, I got to connect with a lot of other people in the community online and things like that as well. Um, it did make me sort of come home a little bit more for meals instead of keeping out markdown shopping. So I probably did say a little bit there. What I spent, no idea. I didn't really track it after a while and I don't really care <laughs> because that is our household. Um, I know, I can definitely tell you it was less than what we normally spend in a month. So, yep. And I did have to do two of the week um, minimum spends for the Woolworths promo. So, kind of taking that out, I think, to be honest, it was about 600 because I looked about midway of the month and we already spent 400 and I was like, that's the budget that I said. But again, most of that shopping was a lot of whole markdown stuff and a whole lot of snack stuff. And we just don't have things that have been sitting in the cupboard for months and weeks on end that need to get used up because I just buy stuff as we go along. So why I do so much markdown shopping? I see something, I think that'd be great for a meal, then we use it within that week or we freeze it and then bang, done. So yes, like shelf timber amazing idea absolutely but does it work for everyone and also i think with today's um reality of the world a lot of people are scared to eat down their fridge and their freezer it's a great way to save money absolutely but at the same time yeah i really cut back on my meat shopping so i did save a lot of money there and i didn't do some other bits and pieces that i normally would do so i did outskirt <laughs> the rules of shelf timber so yes I don't know just yeah not for us I think but I'm glad that I tried it I don't think that I failed because I did do within the parameters and I made lots of friends and I got to take you guys along with the journey and I got to entertain a lot of people <laughs> watching this crazy hot mess so yeah Hmm. Uh, yeah, we still bought a whole lot of snacks and other things that we do because we eat. We still need to eat, I just think, because it's shelf temper. I'm not going to say to everyone, right, that's it. Nothing new is coming into this house. And actually, it's cheaper to buy a lot of the snacks and things that we do buy rather than just bake everything from scratch. Like, a thing of butter is like $5 and it only makes like 100 odd cookies. Whereas I can buy a whole, like, kilo of cookies for 5 bucks. So I'm kind of like like you know it's just yeah uh and yes there's less preservatives homemade and all the rest of it and whatever but you know what your sanity and your time is worth a lot more than <laughs> saving money because as mums we understand yes so yeah let me know how you went in shelf timber in the comments below and whether you're keen to do it, I know one of the um, ladies, she's going to do shelf tober, like October shelf tober because she, she missed shelf temper <laughs> due to life. And so I'm like, that's great, I'm moving on. <laughs> I mean, I could do stuff there and I probably still will do the whole what's for dinner because people seem to enjoy that. Although we're really starting to repeat our meals. So unless it's kind of something like amazing or I have information that I want to share with you guys. Yeah, I don't know. So we shall see what happens from here. Let me know if there's any other video ideas or whatever that you're interested in. I have heaps of stuff coming up, cleaning and cooking and things like that anyway. But if there's something particular that you want to see uh, or challenge me to, let me know. Someone wants me to go to Audi. <laughs> That could take me all day. Oh god, I don't do well with Audi, but 
that could be an interesting challenge yes all right so thank you so much for watching guys please give this video a thumbs up and as i said leave me a comment below please subscribe to the channel if i have entertained you <laughs> in any way or you're just like that woman's insane i'm gonna follow her because i'm glad she's not me yes welcome to my crazy life that's all i can say as always guys i look forward to seeing you next time bye